Tarzan of the Apes, from the novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs, with Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan and Miss Joanne Burroughs as Jane Potter. This is an American Gold Seal production, released by the World Broadcasting System and associated stations. Tarzan has successfully rescued the party of Professor Potter from the cannibals and returned them to his own hut by the sea. He returns to his tribe, but when he finds that the party has been attacked by pirates, Tarzan returns only to find that Jane has been kidnapped by the pirates. He leaps into the trees and goes in pursuit. Now, are you ready? Hold your breath. So you're still stubborn, are you? Ain't you gonna make up your mind to tell us where the treasure is? Oh, I've told you all that I know. This is wasting time, Snipes. Their lab is to be coming after us any minute. Well, they won't find us. But I know that they will. And when they do, Snipes, I hate to think of what they'll do to you. What do you think, right? Yes, that's what I think. Mr. Clayton and Mr. Philander haven't forgotten the kind of treatment you gave them when you had them locked up aboard the ship. Listen, Miguel, I ain't arguing with you. I'm trying to give you a chance to save yourself some trouble. Oh, how many times do I have to tell you that I know nothing whatever about the treasure? No? Oh, yeah? What's the name? Don't take your eyes off on her. I'm going to signal the ship, get the longboat ashore, and take the lady aboard. All right, I'll watch her. I'll see as how you do. And don't you try any of your tricks, my lady. See? Yes, I see. Has he gone? Yes, but that don't help you none. If you know anything, you better tell me. Oh, can't I convince you that I don't know anything? I ain't hard to convince. I seen last night that you didn't know nothing about the treasure. Or else, you're the slickest liar I ever seen. But I'm not lying. Not one of us knows anything about that treasure. No, I guess you don't. I've been with them most of the time, and I know that none of them ever found or moved that treasure. Well, you can't make Snipes believe that. But, but won't you speak to Snipes? Make me believe that I'm telling the truth. No, <laughs> I ain't gonna start no argument and get socked in the jaw. Oh, but you've got to, no matter what they may do to me. If I don't know where the treasure is, how will it help them find it? That's what he's after, isn't it, finding the treasure? Sure. Of course. Even if he kills all of us, it won't help him find it. He's crack it on the notion that you know where that treasure's hid. Nothing can knock that idea out of his head. Oh, dear, what can I do? Carlos. Yeah? Take me back to my father. He's sick. He may be dying. Take you back? Yes. Yes, we can run away now before Snipes gets back. Yeah, and get shot in the back. No, I can't do it. But I'll see that you're protected. Nix. Nix. You are getting excited. Lieutenant Dano's cruiser will come back any day. You can go aboard and leave with us. The cruiser? Yes, it's long overdue now. It can't be much longer before it comes. I'll bet Snops don't know anything about that cruiser that's supposed to come back here. Good job he is taking you aboard ship. And when the cruiser comes back, they'll take you and snipe all of you prisoners. We'll keep out of the way. Don't you worry. If you'll take me back to the hut, you'll be rewarded. My father will give you more than you could possibly get for your share of the treasure. Well, it sounds all right, but Shh. here comes Snipes. I'll talk to you sometime later. Well, come on. Long will pull the shore. Say, Snipes, I found out something out of the lady. That French cruiser's you back here any time. So ho! Blimey, what luck. They run us off before. Well, we got to be on the lookout, that's all. What is it that they do with pirates? Swing them at the end of a yard arm, isn't it? Show that, you. You're too fit by off, Miguel. Come along with you. Oh, let go of my arm. I'll scream for help. Well, you'll scream just once. Come on. I'm fed up with monkeying with you. Lively now. Better come along quietly. Heedless of the scolding and disturbed monkeys, Tarzan swings his way through the treetops. In his breast rages an emotion as close to hatred as the ape man has ever known. If the cruel, calm, and ganning of harm chain. Tarzan grits his teeth as he thinks of what he will do to them. He pauses in his search. Strains his ears to listen. Nothing. Nothing but the usual jungle sounds. That's what puzzles Tarzan. If the Tom and Ganny were close at hand, the jungle would be uneasy. The ape man's sensitive nostrils quiver as he tries to catch the mutineer's scent spore. Not a trace. Again, Tarzan listens. Tarzan.
man shakes his head. He'll have to go to the old camp of the mutineers, follow their trail. The ape man's steel like fingers grasp the tough stem of a vine. A quick thrust, and he swings like a pendulum through a gap in the trees. A moment's hesitation, a sure, accurate grip on a swaying limb, and down through the branches, Tarzan drops to the lower, denser jungle terrace. Branch after branch bends lightly under his flying feet. Vine after vine tenses with his weight as he speeds toward the former camp of the mutineers. Clayton! Clayton! He's on there! What is that? Tarzan takes his rapid course. Horses. Listen. What is it, Dalu? A messenger from Snatch. A sailor named King. Perhaps news of Jane, Tarzan thinks as he hears the shouts, and without a moment's hesitation, the ape man turns and heads back for the hut. As Tarzan speeds toward the little clearing, Clayton, inside the hut, hears Darno's shouts and comes to the door. What did you say, Darno? King, one of the mutineers is coming up from the beach, carrying a flag of truce. Oh, hold over the hut! Oh, shoot! Then point your own rifle the other way. What have you done with Mademoiselle Jane? Ah, uh, that's what I've come to see you about. Then for your sake, you'd better hurry up. Ah, uh, there's no use acting that way. We've got the edge on you. Never mind the talk. Come to the point. Where is she? Ah, uh, she's all right. We're just holding her. Till you tell us where the treasure's at? We don't know where the treasure's at. We've never seen it. I had to tell the Professor Clayton. He heard your shouts. Well, there ain't no one else around here that could have found it. I tell you, we mean business. The professor don't kick through. Well, it'll be too bad for the day. Clayton! Yes, Donald? Take King's rifle. Oh, no, you don't. Get back there. Oh, now. You better be good, King. All right, mister. But I'm telling you that Snipes... Not a word. Now, Marche, into that hut. What, what is it, Philander? News? News of James? Papa, you keep King cover. Uh, but what do they want, Philander? Why should they take Jane? They're holding Jane until we tell them where the treasure is hidden. Uh, but bless my soul, we, we don't know that. Uh, do we, Clayton? That's what we've tried to tell them. We don't know. Well, anyways, we're holding your girl until you do tell oh, them. Poor Jane, my, my poor little girl. You wouldn't be so cruel. No, Archimedes, lie down. Lie down. Lie quietly. Lie still, Philander. Lie still. And my baby in the hands of those villains? No. I must get up. I at once. I, I... Quickly, uh, quick. Water. Uh, He's fainted again. Here, Philander. Here. There. Hold up his head. This is terrible, Clayton. It may bring on a relapse, and he was getting on so well. well let's hope it won't. If there was something that we could do to force these pirates... We might try to run a bluff on King. But even if they kill him, that won't bring Jane back to us. We don't know where she is. Oh, I know it. Confound it. I don't know what to do. Water's coming to you again. There... You feel any better, Archimedes? Ah. <laughs> Let me see. Now, what was I doing? What was I doing? I'm delirious again. Better perhaps he should be while Jane's gone. King, I am going to give you just 30 seconds to tell us where Mademoiselle Jane is. And if you do not, then I shall put you up against a tree and kill you. And if you kill me, you'll never find her. If I ain't back inside of a few hours... I still kill her. Ten seconds, King. Wait, Dotto. They may have made some such arrangement, but ask Monsieur. Fifteen seconds, King. Who's that? I'll get it, Clayton. Tarzan! Not fine, Jane. Herman Gannick gone away. Tarzan, this man knows where Mademoiselle Jane is. I have told him that if he doesn't tell us, I shall kill him. Well, I don't care if you do kill me. I won't tell. Won't tell? No. Or then make him tell. Now, we, but how? I show you. Give him to me. <laughs> Don't let that guy touch me. Come here. Well, what are you going to do, Tarzan? Come outside. I'll show you. Now, listen. Figure! Figure! Listen. You know what that is? Numa, lion, cheetah, lep, lep, leopard, leopard. Yes, if he not tell where Jane is, I take him, give him to Numa, cheetah. No, 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 not that. All right, the beat then. Be quick. No, she's, she's, she's on the boat. Where? Down, down the coast. In the other coast. Yes, yes, we can get there. You know where that is? But yes, Vienna. Come on, we. 
shall go at once. Salonia, you keep King here and keep him covered. Very well. Come, Tarzan, Clayton, Francois. We'd better keep to the brush and avoid being seen. Yes. Uh, where is the boat in which you landed when you were put ashore? Not far from the headland. We can reach it and be out at sea before their lookout spot. And we have enough ammunition, Francois. Mais oui, mon Dieu. Good. We shall have to be careful, though. We might hit Mademoiselle Jane. How many time, Angani? We do not know yet, Tarzan. Uh, behind those rocks. That's where we left the boat. Ah, high and dry. All right. Yes. We pull it well up on shore so that we'll be out of range of those brewing pirates. Look, Arno, you can see the arrow from this rock. Oh, the ship! It's a wreck! Yes, what? The boat! She's a wreck! Snipes and his gang, they did! Oh, yes, they've stove it in with rocks. Can't use boat? Apparently not, Tarzan. Then Tarzan swim. But Tarzan? Wait, Scottman! You can't swim out there alone. No other way to get gained. Tarzan, go alone. They will shoot you. Soon, night time. Wait until dark. They will not see Tarzan. Mais, monsieur, what can you hope to do alone, even if you can reach the arrow? Can do nothing here. Just talk. Tarzan, get Jane all right. The jungle twilight turns to darkness. Tarzan, silent and apart from the other members of the party, stands impassive like a grim warrior. Without a word or backward glance, he runs to the surf, leaps and skims a breaker, and like a torpedo, heads to sea. And that, Monsieur Clayton, is courage that men seldom see, even in our profession of war. I must admit that you're right. Such strength, such determination. Have you ever seen such swimming before? I can't see him now. And Dardo, for once he tackled too big a job. He has the turf. What can Tarzan hope to do alone against a whole crew of pirates? And what of Jane? 